Okay, so I'm going to do Making Practice Fun 57 worksheet. Now, I know how to do the problems. The purpose of me making the video is for if you get stuck after you've tried the work, then you can use the video to help you uh, check your answers. But do not just copy my work. Do not just copy my answers. It's here as a resource. Pause the video. You try the problem and then watch the solution. Pause the video, try the problem, and then watch the solution. So I'm going to start with the box that says 2. And it says d of negative 1 equals negative 3. So I need to figure out if that's true or false. So I'm going to substitute in negative 1 to the d function. And I like using synthetic substitution. I'm going to bring down the first number, multiply and add, multiply and add. Multiply and add, multiply and add, and is this value what they say? So yes, that box is true, you would color it in. For the division box, it says a of 0 equals negative 60. Now because it's 0, I'm just going to look, and if this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 60, we're going to get negative 60, so that question is also true. Now for the box that says root, it says a of 1 equals negative 62. So I'm going to use synthetic substitution with a. And let's see if we get negative 62 as our value. Multiply and add, multiply and add, multiply and add. So that one is true. Now the next box is 4. Oh, I made a mistake back on root. Yeah, that's why I was hesitating. I'm sorry. 6, that should be a positive 2. And then 2 times 1 is positive 2. Then this is negative 58, so this is not true. This box is not true. My apologies. Now for the 4 box, this is b of 2 is 0. So I'm going to put 2 in the corner. For my b function, here's my coefficients. Bring down the first number, multiply and add. Almost made the same mistake. That's positive 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 18, 0, so that box is true. Now the next box says math. And we need to see is c of negative 3 equal to negative 34. Okay, so I go up to my c function. Negative 3 goes in the corner. Bring down the first number. Multiply and add. Multiply and add, multiply and add, and that one is true. Okay, so now we actually get to the next box that says divide, and it's a divide question. So it's asking, is c of x divided by x plus 4, does that equal 4x squared minus 7x plus 31 with a remainder? of negative 122. Because we have x plus 4, I'm going to use synthetic division. Negative 4 goes in the corner. If this is x minus negative 4. I need my coefficients of c. Bring down the first number. Multiply and add. Oops. Multiply and add. Multiply again. And add. So with synthetic division, because we started with a cubed, this is going to be the coefficient for x squared, x, 31, and this is our remainder. So that is true. 
Okay, I can use synthetic division for the next box as well that says and. I'm going to put positive 3 in the corner and all the coefficients of a. Bring down the first number, multiply and add, multiply and add, multiply and add, and I have a remainder of 0. Did I get x squared plus 8x plus 20? And that is exactly what the paper says, so that one is true. Now for the conquer box. It's a substitution problem, so I'm going to put the value of 3 into the a function. Because it's substitution, I just need to see whatever this last value is. Oh, this is the same setup as a. So I get a remainder of 0, or I get the value of 0 when we plug in 3. So this box is also true. Okay, for the out box, it says c of negative 3. Does that equal 38? So I'm going to put negative 3 in the corner. Bring down the first number. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. That is not... 38, so no, this one is false, so I'm not going to color it in. Okay, the width box says D of 2. So let's see what happens when we plug in 2 to the D polynomial. Multiply and add, multiply and add. And we get 0. So this one is true. OK, now the stand box is a long division problem. We can't use synthetic division because the divisor, x squared minus x plus 1, is not x plus or minus a constant. I'm going to write my a function. I'm going to do x to the third divided by x squared. We get x. I'm going to put that on top of this term because that's the x's. When I multiply it back, I have to multiply by each term. And then we subtract. So every sign becomes opposite when we subtract. Bring down the negative 60. We're going to repeat. So 6x squared divided by x squared is 6. Multiply it back by all three terms of the divisor. And we subtract. And my remainder is going to be x minus 66. And that's what the box says, so this one is true. For all, it says that b of x divided by x minus 2 should be 3x squared plus x minus 9. So let's see. Because this is x minus k, 2 is the value that goes in the corner. For the b function, Here's my coefficients. Bring down the first number, multiply and add. Multiply and add. Because we started with a cubed, the exponent for my first term is 1 less. It's squared. And this is not true because this does not match what I got. So this one's not true. For the next box that says 4, I can also use synthetic division. I'm going to put 1, because that's the k from the divisor. And then I need the coefficients from the d of x function. And 
multiplying and adding. And even if I just look right at the remainder, the, the paper says the remainder should be a negative 9, and I got negative 7. So this one is not true. Oh, I made a mistake. This is negative 1. Now negative 1 times 1 should be negative 1. That was where I made my mistake. My apologies again. And now I get the same remainder as the paper. So let's see if the rest of this is right. Because d started as a fourth, this is going to be the coefficient of x cubed with a remainder of negative 9. Does that match the paper now? It does. Okay, so this box is correct once I fixed my mistake. Okay, the next box says d of x divided by x minus 2. So positive 2 goes in the corner. We need the coefficients for the d function. Hopefully I won't make a mistake this time. And because we started with a fourth, this is the coefficient for a cubed. And is that what the paper says? Yes. So that is true. This box is true. Okay, now in the next box that says errors, we have to do long division because the, the divisor has an x squared. And we're dividing b of x. So I'm going to take 3x to the third divided by x squared, and I get 3x. Multiply it back by everything. Is it 3x times x squared? 3x to the third. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 1. Now we subtract. So minus, minus, minus. Bring down the negative 18. 11, negative 11x squared divided by x squared is negative 11. Multiply it back. Subtract. I get 26x plus minus 7. This part of the remainder does not match the paper, so this box is not true. Okay, two more problems to go. The often box says c of negative 2 is 0. I'm going to put negative 2 in for my synthetic substitution. Bring down the 4. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. And we get 0, so that box is true. And last but not least, a of 2, does that equal negative 40? 2 goes in the corner for my a function. Bring down the 1. 1 times 2, add. No, I'm not adding. And we get the right answer. So the only boxes that should not be colored in are root, out, all, errors.